He's a very smart prince. He's a prince who prepares. Knowing this time I'd run from him. He spread pitch on the stairs. I was caught unawares. And I thought, well, he cares. This is more than just malice. Better stop and take stock while you're standing here stuck on the steps of the palace. You think, what do you want? You think, make a decision. Why not stay and be caught? You think, well, it's a thought. What would be his response? But then what if he knew who you were when you know that you're not what he thinks that he wants? And then what if you are what a prince would envision? Although, how can you know who you are till you know what you want, which you don't? So then which do you pick while well, you're safe out of sight and yourself, but where everything's wrong? Or where everything's right and you know that you'll never be long? And whichever you pick, do it quick, because you're starting to stick to the steps of the palace. It's your first big decision. The choice isn't easy to make. To arrive at a ball is exciting at all. Once you're there, though, it's scary. And it's fun to deceive when you know you can leave, but you have to be wary. There's a lot that's at stake, but you've stalled long enough because you're still standing stuck in the stuff on the steps. Better run along home and avoid the collision. Even though they don't care, you'll be better off there where there's nothing to choose, so there's nothing to lose. So you pry up your shoes. Oops. Then from out of the blue, and without any guide, you know what your decision is, which is not to decide. You'll just leave him a clue. For example, a shoe. And then see what he'll do. Now it's he and not you who is stuck with a shoe in a stew, in the goo. And you've learned something too, something you never knew on the steps of the palace.